I've been meaning to make a video or two about maths for quite some time and my initial idea today was to do a kind of five creative ways to use maths kind of thing and I started off with this sort of drum patch that I came across on the Make Noise uh, YouTube channel and when I started messing about with the drums coming out of maths with the various effects that I've got in my rack um, I've been sitting here for hours just making up different crazy sounds <laughs> in this kind of standalone uh, drum machine, Euro rack drum machine and I'm having a lot of fun doing it so that is going to be the focus of today's video I'm going to show you how to patch this up and then just explore the sonic possibilities of this little cool setup and how you can use it to make some pretty interesting drums so yeah, let's check it out. So I'm going to be using PAMS as my clock today and you don't have to use an external clock, you can just trigger channel 1 of maths as your clock. But I want to be clocking beads and the data bender and that's why I'm using uh, PAMS. So I'm taking channel 2 of PAMS into the trigger input and hopefully you can see that these two lights are kind of pulsing down there. Next, I'm going to take the Unity out of Maths, and this is going to be my audio out, so I'm putting it into my effects chain here. And in order to actually get sound, we're going to be cycling channel 4 of Maths. Now, Maths can go pretty high into the audio range and can even act as an oscillator, and that's kind of going to be the, the source of our sound today. And to get it going, I'm actually going to take the sum output, which is a kind of mix of all four channels, and put that into the both input, which modulates both the rise and fall. And this should bring the, the channel into self-oscillation. <laughs> now that instantly sounds incredible for a very simple patch. And what's going on here is... Channel 4 is oscillating and we can change the pitch. And channel 1 is creating this pulse sound which is our kick and of course we can... <laughs> ...change the characteristics of that. how this is sounding and once you've got something basic like this going it's a case of just experimenting and there's really quite a, a wide variety and scope of sounds you can create from this um, here's a very simple example I'm just bringing in a delay here I think this is going to go quite industrial <laughs> bring in beads. Because beads is clocked by palms as well, it's going to be very rhythmical in its application. I am moving the filter on the delay here. has some bit crush on it to bring in that kind of hiss and white noise. And you could even bring in some bit crush.
course you can start messing about with the different pitches. It's kind of nearly a full performance out of just that very simple patch. So I've recruited the aid of the BeatStep Pro and this is so that I could get some different kind of rhythms going. I'm using the channels 1 and 2 of the drum sequencer so they are just sending gates out and channel 1 we can see here the pattern is going to channel 1 of maths and channel 2 is going to channel 4 of maths and I'm then taking the output of maths both channels 1 and 4 into the stereo filter, the dual dagger and I'm also taking another output of maths and bringing both channels 1 and 4 into the cutoff frequency modulation hopefully that makes sense, it's, it's not that complicated and you should be able to hear just now that both rhythms are playing kind of in the left and right speaker so you've got a wee sort of polyrhythm on the go and if I were to bring the filter down and the resonance all the way up then that is kind of going to be the sound source for this next drum pattern and you can tweak the sounds by using the LFO or the rise and fall parameters There we go. bring in the data bender which is modulating quite fast with a lot of bit crush on it. beads I have the density all the way up and the pitch all the way up and it's also been seeded quite fast and this makes it kind of self oscillate <laughs> This does react to the incoming audio, so if I make any tweaks with the filter or the envelope, you'll hear a nice kind of resonant sound.
dark pretty industrial pretty cool <laughs> This is one of the coolest patches I've made in a while. Let's break it down. So this is the core of the patch and it's basically built around the sort of classic old school maths patch known as Bouncing Ball where you get two channels of maths cycling and have the slower one modulate the faster one, I think. And it creates a kind of infinite amount of rhythms. And you know, one of the cool things about this is that you, you basically just search for a sweet spot and then if you like it, don't touch it ever again <laughs> because you'll never find it ever again. And that's what's happened here. So what I'm going to do before I start experimenting with discovering other rhythms is just quickly show you how I built up the sounds in this patch. So, um, channel 1 of maths is modulating the both input on channel 4 and the output of that is going to the cutoff frequency modulation on the dual dagger which has its resonance all the way up so that it is self-resonating. If I take that out, we have nothing. Before, actually, then we go from the filter into the delay here, which I have also um, self-oscillating. And it just creates this distorted sound. <laughs> which is really cool. And by the way, I also want to point out that because... Because um, ch channel 1 of maths is the slower one, it's kind of like the clock or the pulse of this whole beat. So I'm actually using one of the outputs of channel 1 to clock beads and the data bender. So from there we do go into beads. Which is in the delay mode and it's not doing a great deal but it is adding some extra elements. From there we're going into the data bender. Which is kind of, the repeats are up so high that it's starting to self oscillate as well. And that adds that nice low note to the whole thing. And then from there into the effects aid with a small amount of bit crush on. You could go all the way wet with that. And there you have 
a really interesting rhythm that is coming which exists without a sequencer and without really a sound source. I guess the filter is the sound source. But how cool is that? Now here comes the part that I don't really want to do and that is start experimenting with changing maths, which probably will mean I will lose this rhythm forever. see what this sounds like. thing that I forgot to add to mention in this original beep. At one point I took off both of the cycles <laughs> and that happened. <laughs> How cool is that? <laughs> For like a kind of a stop or a fill. being so unpredictable and kind of infinite. <laughs> and so much fun. just love sounds like this.
really getting carried away here. slightly conscious that this is not maybe the most listenable <laughs> material that I've ever created. <laughs> so yeah if you've if you've enjoyed today's video please let me know by leaving a like and a comment subscribe if you have not already um i do have a patreon account where i upload extra videos as well as occasional sample packs etc and also, if you're buying yourself some gear, I do have an affiliate link in the description which gives me a little cut of the sale at no expense to you. go and do this for the rest of my life <laughs> and I'll catch y'all next time Oh, my God.